Hi, I'm Jennifer Schultz and I'm reporting for RecruitmentQueen.com. Today's topic of the day is how to prepare for a career fair. So a career fair could be one of three different types of events. One is employer-based. So the employer may be having a career fair at their location or off-site specifically just for their company for all different types of positions. They may call it an open house, a job fair, a hiring event, or a career fair. The second type of event is industry-based. So that would be based on a specific occupation or job. So that could be an engineering event, nursing, sales and marketing, many, many different types of events. The goal of that is to make sure that the job seekers that come out to the event are looking for a job in those industries. The third type of an event is a general career fair. And typically what that is is a large number of employers that get together for hiring and again, have a lot of different types of jobs to offer from their companies. So how do you really prepare for a career fair? So the first thing I would say is to make sure that you can go to the event. So check your schedule. Is there a way that you can take off without alerting your current employer? And if you're not working, is there anything else going on that day that would interfere with you going to the career fair? You want to make sure you leave yourself enough time that day to be able to walk around and talk to different employers about the opportunities that they have available. So the next thing would be to make sure that your resume is updated. Please do not come to a career fair without your resume updated, it's so important. Make sure also that you bring enough copies of your resume. You don't want to run out, especially if you happen to talk to an employer and they want to see your resume right away. So if there's going to be 10, 20, or 30 employers at the event, make sure that you bring enough of different resumes so that you can hand them out to the employers who are at the event. After that would be to make sure that you dress appropriately. So try not to wear anything like jeans or flip-flops or heels that you can't walk in. Save those for clubs or beaches. Um, you want to make sure that you're, again, dressed as though you're going to an interview. You should really treat a career fair like it is an interview. Um, because most likely when you're talking to that recruiter, they're going to be judging you on what you're wearing, what you're saying. So it's very, very similar to an interview. With that being said, you want to make sure that you don't bring anyone with you to the career fair unless they're also looking for a job. You want to bring your mom with you, you know, or your children or your pet on an interview. So please make sure that you leave them at home. And the last thing I would say is to make sure at a career fair that you follow up with the recruiters or the HR professionals from the event that day about what you talked about. A nice thank you is very, very important and goes a long way. So whether they have a job for you today at the event or whether they have a job later on, you're gonna be one of the first people that they're gonna think of. So thank you for watching Recruitment Queen TV.